Okay, so I wanted to show you guys really quick my daughter's homeschool setup. This is what we have uh, set up right now. I love it. She's so smart, so wonderful, so sweet. Um, and we are homeschooling for this year before she turns the big four, you know, to go to school, school. So um, this is what we have going on. Um, and I know too, a lot of kids can go to school at three, um, but we don't mind homeschooling her because of the pandemic and things like that that's going on. And, um, you know, why rush it? Before you know it, she'll be in school until forever, you know, until it's time to stop. So um, we're just going to let her have fun this one last year at home. So this is what I have so far. Um, my husband just picked up the board from Ikea. And it's wonderful. A delight. This is a good Christmas present, too. If somebody wants to get their kid an educational toy, um, you have the whiteboard where they can obviously, you know, if you're homeschooling too, you can mark things on there, your agenda for the day. You can write letters properly on this as opposed to a chalkboard, which can be kind of like scratchy and stuff and annoying <laughs> at times, the sound. So the whiteboard, that's why I really like this. Um, but chalkboards are fun, you know, period. So um, we brought the uh, markers separate. Those were like a dollar fifty nine, and they mark really, really well. Um, and it's a four pack. So we got the pink, orange, purple, and yellow. And the roller, uh, this orange attachment piece here comes with the board, but we did buy the roll of paper separate. It was about 30 something. So freaking cheap for a thick roll like that. Amazing quality. Um, the paper, it just, I'll kind of show you. Um, just, you could just roll it right on down, and then they can just start, you know, playing. So you can see my daughter was already doing some things on it. So that's how it looks. It's so cute. And I love the layer over the whiteboard. It looks so artistic um, when she's writing on the paper versus going back to the whiteboard. And there is a chalkboard on the other side, as you can see here. So we've been doing some marking on here. And we did buy a four pack of colors here. As you can see, um, purple, blue, we have some yellow and orange. So it's a wonderful board. And it's really, really tall. I love it. I love it so much. And then um, this is her toddler table, which we got from Ikea as well. Pink chair, of course. I'm so mad that they don't have the pink table to match. I did see that I guess maybe years ago they did have a pink table. I'm just rolling this back up. Um, they did have a pink table before, but yeah, they only have white. They would really do well with the pink table. I don't know why they're not doing it. Um, so here on the pink table, I'm laying out her lessons for tomorrow. Uh, so we had the weather. Um, obviously we're going through weather changes now with the fall into winter and then leaf shapes. I think this is amazing because we have a beautiful window where we can see like all the leaves falling. So what I may have her do tomorrow is actually go out and collect some leaves. Um, and maybe we can compare those to the shapes that's in the photos here. So there are different colors outside. So I may have her you know we go out and find some that that's that's similar to to the pictures here so that'll be fun for tomorrow we'll see it's cold out but i still probably am going to do it i do have a three month year old so i'll just wear her in the ergo um so we may do that that'll be fun uh then this is nice because she is almost three and we are out and about she know who police a police officer is she know the um you know the firefighters she knows like she knows who you know protect the community so this is good to start getting into like the who you who do you um you know ask for help sorry i'm just like what is that noise that's my dishwasher and i'm watching a youtube vlog um about barbies actually so yeah so this is good she's getting older you know and that's the reality of life 
you may need to ask somebody for help so it's important especially if someone asks her for help she can direct them to the right person to ask for help so it's just a good thing to discuss with your kid also got this from from ikea is a counter my husband loved this um he suggested that we get one of these i was going to get the one that you normally see at the doctor's office which we like that one too but we saw this one the other one was sold out at the location we went to so i did get this one this is also just like a cute little photo frame it actually uh is like a card you just put it together right there and uh it's so cute and they can draw a picture like their family themselves and it can become a picture so it's like artistic a learning thing but then you can also use it as decor something for the kids to be proud of uh, that they did and you can look at it every day to remind them of how good they are at their drawings and stuff like that so i love that you can put stickers on it whatever um i do have this cute 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 i have to pick this up little half pencils and yes, you guys, they are pastel pink. And they're little tinies. Beautiful, beautiful pink. I mean, in person, it don't even... The camera don't do it no justice. They are literally bubblegum bubble pink. And I'm going to take a few out so you can see how that look. So pretty. Obsessed. So, uh, that's what we have going on for tomorrow. So I have books that I use um, and I also am going to start incorporating stickers and rewards and stuff like that that I plan on getting um, to incorporate as she works through things. And another thing I want to get for this, I'll probably get just like a little flower, little um, vase or something like that, something skinny, tubular, just put a little flower on there for her. Um, I do have this like little agenda sheet that I wrote. There's a couple other things that I'm going to get, so I'm, I'll update you. We'll call this um, Home School One because um, it's other things that I want to get too. Um, just like some like rainbow and just other things for the top of this. Um, just to give it even more of a classroom feel. Um, I want her to start being able to put together her uh, days of you know the day the time like all that in one so here's a couple of things that I have coming but right now we're working on sight words um, I want her to actually know how to spell her own entire name and just about her you know as when she started going to school they're going to start talking about themselves and they're going to have to start distinguishing themselves from other people and how they're different and unique every child is beautiful and wonderful and unique and they just need to know about themselves so they can have confidence and be proud of themselves right so uh, we'll be doing some projects so that's just like my own little to-do list I'll probably get like another little line sheet paper to do that with but why not just you know mark it so we won't forget still look cute uh, I have some charts here now a lot of times the charts come and it's easy stuff stuff that she already know like she obviously already know 1 through 20 I mean she's about to be 3 everyone learns differently but she been 1 through 20 she knows what that look like she can identify it on a piece of paper um, so now we're obviously uh, going to go beyond that I want her to start um, getting into time it's really important I'm also going to have her start doing addition and subtraction those are the two that I plan on adding so I gotta see how I'm gonna do that um, yeah, because it'll be stuff everywhere. I, I'm, I'm going to add it somehow. Um, cause definitely need that on there. Um, she obviously know A through Z. Um, she knows words that uh, go with the letters. So, But you can never go wrong with having the A through Z here. You know, with the uppercase versus lowercase look like. For when they're starting to learn how to write. Oh, that just sounds so sweet. Starting to learn how to write. So yeah, you know, you can never go wrong with having this chart. It's basic, but it's very important. Um, we also have the numbers. Now, obviously, she know 1 through 10, but is you have to start to know, like, okay, there's, you know, three, three giraffes, right? Yes is the number three, but one, two, three. You know, it's three of them. And what three look like, or two, what a set look like. You know, like that type of thing. Um, 
pairs and stuff like that. So just taking the learning a step further. And the more they see it, the better. Um, you know, obviously the math is so important. I think that when they start school, they'll start getting into the, the United States of America and history. And they may touch on that and start doing, on, doing projects on different states. You know, what's going on in Texas? What's common in Pennsylvania and New York? You know, what's going on in uh, Arizona and New Mexico? And then you have Alaska and just kind of identifying that a little bit. So I definitely want to try to get her to know all of the states before she go to school. So it's important. And then continents. I have a map for that too that I'll incorporate. But once she get more familiar with this, then I'll switch it out. She obviously know, you know, these animals, but again, it's important to know tall versus short. She know big and small, you know, but knowing left and right is very important. Um, she knows up and down. She know black and white. She knows like the B, like it's a little bit versus, you know, many. She know like, oh, that's a lot or all of them, but still more and less. So again, that's important. Shapes, she obviously know an oval, square, triangle. Um, she knows a heart, of course, but she needs to know like uh, the octagon. She actually knows the octagon and circle, but uh, 2D shapes are just very important in being able to say these are 2D shapes versus 3D shapes, right? So when she see the cube, she can say, oh, that's a square. So, you know, like just, again, taking the learning a step further, she loves the solar system so we're working on that as well um she knows a lot of uh you know the, the different planets but i like this one because it is what's closest to the sun right so i love that love 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 the, the order of it um she's identifying her seasons really well and she's really getting to know like her order of days of the week Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, really well. Wednesday and Thursday, good. Friday, Saturday, she kind of run through those. So this is great. Um, this is a great start. She knows so freaking much. It's amazing what their little brains can keep in their, like, she is just, I know everybody brag about their own kids. I just want to say that I'm blessed. I'm blessed that she is very intelligent. Um, I'm so proud of that. Oh, and then these cards. I forgot to show you these. So cute. Teal triangle. I love this. I don't know who this brand is. I forget. Um, but very girly. But my favorites. Let me show you these. Look at this. Count the objects. The most. Uh, which bowl has the most apples? Look at this one. The whisk. Oh my gosh. Which whisk is on the bottom? So stinking cute. Um, which pineapple is the smallest? Again, touching on that, you know, uh, big versus small. So I love these. I'm I, I'm so mad because these packs were only a dollar. Look at this, the cupcake and chair. They were only a dollar, and I'm so mad I didn't get like 10 and just keep them because they're just so sweet and adorable up until probably like 7 or 8. Like, I just love them. Um, so this is her setup. I'm going to get her more cards. I find that they had the better cards in the spring and summer, more girly, fun stuff. Um, so this is her setup. I love it. Um, she does a lot of VTech things, but I'm real old school. I want her to just know a lot of things just from reading and writing and researching. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably get her uh, Apple at some point. Like, she already is always on the laptop, but I do want to get her, like, a real, real cutting-edge desktop. Something very fancy, of course, um, and uh, educational because uh you know computers is just the way of the world is the future but i do love the tech toys obviously they're the best they're the best um but i do want her to she's only yes yeah, she's about to turn three but i still want her like she's not like a super super baby anymore but she's still my baby of course and she's so advanced that i think that she's just on a whole nother level at this point 
um, but I love VTech toys always. Um, I actually want to get her the unicorn VTech toy that's out there. That's another great Christmas gift. But yeah, this is um, Victoria's home school. And I hope that you guys do like this video. Um, I love learning um, and anything to do with kids and learning. Um, if I can open up my own school, I probably would. Uh, I love this stuff. So, yeah, see his bear up there. I'll probably get like some rainbows or something like that and do like another updated video. But this is homeschool one.